it's gonna start out cute and then it's gonna get weird. So again, welcome to crazy town. Firefly.adobe.com. I'm gonna make a massive skull stone statue full of ruins on a new dawn, hyper realistic detailed on a mountain top. Let's just see what we get. Yeah, this is what we get. Let's make sure we're going with that widescreen. We're getting some cool things as you can see. Download this. I'm gonna try a wide angle just to give me a little more space. Covered in flowers in a valley. So there we go, we got a little bit more space now. Download that. I'm gonna get four different versions of this. We'll get rid of a uh, wide angle. Let's actually do a close up. Still kind of keeps the same size. If I twist this more toward the prompt, we're gonna see this change a little bit more. This is more like it. Download. Now we're gonna make it gold. Ooh, I like this one. Uh, colorful, surreal. So there we are. So we got our images. I basically put together a storyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was gonna use Runway ML. So you can generate images, you can generate videos. We could do frame interpolation. Turn a sequence of images into an animated video. Select all of these, drop them in here, reshuffle these. Let's determine how long we want this because we have about seven images. So we'll run this for about 20 seconds. We'll click generate, click play. We can see it's morph into one, into the next. We'll export this out. We want this to be 1080p. I'm gonna go back into firefly.adobe.com. This is where I'm gonna create a bunch of butterflies. Hopefully downloaded all of our lovely butterflies that are in here now. Photoshop, Just take this wing and I wanna replace it with say this one. Object selection tool set to lasso and we'll just jump in here and lasso around that wing. Copy, paste, there's our wing. So we'll save this. We did that for all of these. We have all of our wings. You guys get how that goes. We chopped them up. We can launch into After Effects now. Let's make a new project really fast. We'll grab our lovely video, drag it in here. We're gonna create a new comp from that selection. Boom, there it is. We're gonna start using our butterflies now. Our orange sulfur wing, drag it in here. Let's just do a new comp from selection. We can start to make this flap. Move it over here to the edge right there, back to our skull. Where is our skull background that we just made? Let's drop that in here, stretch it out. Here's all my butterflies. They're all made using 3D, so we can see the 3D adjustments. Here's the body of this one flying in. This has classic 3D turned on. So you can take this object and let's move this over. Take this butterfly and start to move it around. But I'm using this sort of position and the other elements are linked to the position of the body. The short of it is, is I'm chopping up that Firefly image, placing it in a sample file that I already have, and now we have this animation of these lovely butterflies flying in this scene. So again, welcome to crazy town. So we want to do a morph, and I'll start with an image that is created on the Firefly website, like this prompt. It's gonna start out cute and then it's gonna get weird, like this. We're gonna extend the canvas. Extend away, because we need more room and we'll do our magical generative fill. You know, I could click right here, invert. We'll actually draw on top. Now I'll go to generative fill and I'll paste this in and I want a cute, fluffy pink ball animal, right? But this time maybe we'll change the color. It does okay, I'm gonna be honest with you by doing a cute eye. I would do one eye and then probably duplicate it. Oh, that's not a cute eye, but that's okay. Let's go with it. Command J, move it over. It's not gonna match perfect. Take this, let's do a big smile. He's a little happier. A large, cute, teal monster smiling made of fur. Oh, black and white twisted horns. Saving this to my desktop, call it monster. From there, we're gonna go to generate image assets. We'll rush to my desktop. There's the monster assets and it just knocked out those four images. I think he should have some horns, maybe just some smaller horns. Okay, so he has the start of some weirdness. Put some big wings back there. I think I'm gonna go with these. Let's grab all these, drop them in. Morph them together, just something fun. Click play, zoop, zoop. Sprout those horns, sprout those wings. Bye.